Hello everyone, I'm Dramat and today we're going to do a Talia jungle guide in which we will play against the Nunu, a Bard, the Misfortune on Irelia, a Gangplank and so on. And we're going to try to do a small guide in which we will see how we can carry this. Uh, practically, uh, we are playing somewhere in Flexert around Diamond Hill or above. Some players are masters. I don't do solo queue in jungle, I've told you that already. I will do some mid games from time to time. Uh, but I queue as mid top, so when I get top on solo queue, I mean I play uh, I play top lane Pantheon, so yeah. Now, for the rules, when I play Talia jungle in general, I'd like to word red, but I have discovered. And I could word it here and just move to blue in any side. And I would like to play with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Rainus Hunter. Features Market, Cosmic Insight, and these rune stats. Beware when you play with these two runes instead of Presence of Mind and Coupe de Grasse, Coupe de Grace, I don't, want, I don't like to pronounce it. You're not going to have that much mana, so uh, you're going to have to manage mana better. If you don't have blues on mid, at least you could play with Corrupting, but in the jungle you have to have the blue, because if you don't, and you don't even have the Presence of Mind rune when you're ganking, you're going to be all out of mana 24 7. Why is Yumi not jumping on me to shield me? Come on, man! Is this Loila? Oh my god. She could have shielded me. Well, we work with what we have, I guess. Okay, starting blue. Um, regarding the Talia buffs that's about to happen on Tuesday, I think. Uh, it's going to be much more easier to kite these camps because you're going to be able to cast better queues and you're also going to have the smaller queue uh, helping you on lower cooldowns. So that's great. That's a thing. Now, for this context of this game, the Nunu matchup, he's going to want to gank a lot, and the lanes where he could gank is probably top, and bot if the bard knows how to play and to set up. And so, uh, practically, am I getting ganked? Oh boy. Well, he plays with Ignite, so he's already having his lane doomed. He will teleport, Nunu will gank, and that's going to be the first problem of today. I hope he doesn't push from this point, but I should probably gank him because with Mordekaiser you have a strong top laner which has shields, which has a lot of damage, so you could definitely see how that could work. I'm gonna work here just so that we don't have no surprises and I'm gonna try to kite it a bit, a tiny bit. I can also smite it. Uh, I generally like to smite the... never mind. I'm actually going there to try to stop the gangplank. Man, but... But please don't... No! I'm getting a double here, I don't care. Please don't hit a minion. No, no, they kill me! I'm tilted. <laughs> I'm straight up tilted because he focused the freaking... Irel the freaking Nunu. The guy was in the bush. You could have gone into the bush. Never mind. Please hit. Nah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother. This is already horrendous because my bot lane loses early against the Bard somehow. The only chance I guess is mid because Irela will want to engage onto this guy. So if I'm there. Oh never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I could profit off the Irelia, but I'm tilted because the focus, man. Awful focus. Anyway, I'm getting this. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't have smited, but I didn't want the random Nunu ball to appear and get it. Uh, I can probably go top and get the guy. Because he has Ignite and that's awful for him. Uh, but really, I'd like to not play with Mordekaiser if he hinted me early on. So we have to see how we play from behind, that would be, it's a 5-1 game, already the score, we have a winning mid lane, and the wolves should spawn in a moment now, although, man, please back off, I'm gonna steal a bit of farm here, if he dies, well, that's just sad, got a wave here, ugh, do I have in every single game that I post an Intim top laner? Because that's how it looks like. That's definitely how it looks like. Now, Nunu didn't really farm that well. I'm not going to help. 
an Ezreal that has only a tier. Because we cannot get a kill onto that. If you ask for ganks... Oh man, come on. You're Zed, you shouldn't. Yeah. It's actually hilarious that... He died 1 versus 1 on top in Mordekaiser and then... The gank was obvious, but the focus, man. People still need to learn that against a Nunu you don't really go out of your way, you try to stay early. Especially if you have a Tulia. When you play in these kind of matchups like the Nunu and Zack, you should hope that your team does not tint. And if they do, you should just scale because... Or gank the lanes that aren't ganked by Nunu or that are your power lanes, so to say, your prior lanes. Now, we have to let them take, I hope, I really hope actually they go for something like Drakes and uh, they ignore the ganks, the Nuno I want. I want him to get Drakes really, the first two he can get as much as you want. We cannot help this guy, you see this guy, we cannot help him. He already screwed his lane, we have no mana, I can go for this, I can go for this, and this, and this. That's what you generally should go for on recalls, the first or second recall or recall lens is great. Lost chapter as fast as you can, boots, mandatory, sorcious could work as well, but as I play with Features Market and Cosmic Insight, I want to do one or two ganks, and I'm afraid that if I do a failed gank, I won't have mana further on. Now, I can move here fast and get this, I also have this might. If I were to guess, Nono is top, I could actually get this. If I get this here, this is totally worth it. We just ignore the Nono, that's the same thing. Bard is also top. Well, that's just sad. Bard is top and my bot lane lost. <laughs> my bot lane lost to the Nono gank. Oh my god, man. So this is looks this looks like a loser's queue game, but we can we can try. We can try, we can definitely try. My bot lane died. That happens when you start tier on Ezreal, man. That, you don't do that. You really don't. Now, there is a bard and no no around here. I should just hold out if they come or flash. And if not, just farm till Ludens, that's the clear path. This is the easiest path. And try to gang mid. Ignore bot. Maybe get a top. Oh my god, man. Maybe get a top kill, but besides that, there isn't really much to do when your top laner is running it. Nuno is going for the AP build. That's good. Good for us, because that means he's going to die. I see, I see the Z. So he casted the W, got out. He's fine. Just going for this. Full clear. I am ahead in CS, that's great, but if Zed doesn't win, yeah, that's a problem, because he has Ignite, he has Ignite, she has Teleport, that's a pretty damn big problem, Flash Ult, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to not kill her there. Uh, it's a W. That's great. I missed a W because I noticed the ult so late. I registered so late the ult event. Oops, sorry. Sometimes I forget that he's not... He's the mid laner and not Mortikaiser, yeah. He got two kills. He's not allowed to in from this point. Obviously my bot lane is again running it. I could go bot now. Just to farm. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm not allowed to die. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Jump on me. Come. Ow. Get him. Oh, come on! Might be a very stupid idea. Well, I 
did get the bard. I have to push it in. It's better to push it in. Push it in fast. Okay. You should you should push it fast because she recalled. Okay, we see the no no. Okay. My turn for that. Really is coming. Yeah, I ain't, bother. I ain't gonna bother with that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm backing off. Okay. See? He got two kills. We start to scale. We're going great. But this guy, this guy tilts me already. I mean, man, at least don't die. You have, have everything. Flash, they casted flash in barrier. If they die... Christ, I'm, I'm tilted because he could have lived. Could have killed that. I could have definitely killed that. Because if you jumped back, I would have just fully, fully damaged her. The Ezreal, however, doesn't want to play. At least the top laner wants to. And he takes my camp. Hmm. He has a wave in a bad state. And takes my camp, man. Yeah, this is a very suicidalish mission. Well, what else is there to do? Let's kill him. Absolutely nothing else to do. We push. I'm obviously pushing with him. Because we don't want to waste time. And also, I am pretty far ahead now. The only thing that I have to do is focus on bot. What? What? Why? Why? Why are they doing this kind of place? I see the fact that Yumi gave up <laughs> onto the bot lane because. She... Please back off. Please back off. Well, that's a start. I could also go there. Something might be good. Okay, okay, go boy, go boy. He shouldn't have died there. He gritted onto that. Okay, we got the kill on it. I get the free trick. This is amazing. Also, yeah, with the smaller circles, guys, you get a lot more cues per square meter here. That's quite beautiful. And look how far ahead I am of the Nuno, strictly because I didn't die those two times and I focused on actual farming. Because he wanted to put kills on players, that was good. But the problem is that the players actually gave shutdowns. If the players give shutdowns, then these kind of ganks are worthless and most of the time, champions like Rek'Sai, champions like Zack and Nunu, the, the ones that are strong early, well, Zack is kind of both strong at any point. They fall off strictly because they do not have the required teammates to play with. You're not in high elo, so scaling champions such as Kyle will always work, Cassidy and Kartus. If you just farm the jungle, even Talia, for example, into the jungle, Talia Kartus works insanely well. Because you're always going to get into the late game, unless you are in the smart queue, by the way, which, yeah, that's a thing as well. Even then, a smurf playing Kyle will always get him bronze into the higher, into the late game, strictly because the game goes insanely long. And it doesn't matter, we can just go. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was perfect, man. The W straight into his spell. I am doing great. I got the kills onto the gangplank again, onto the misfortune. This just puts me insanely ahead. I can just go for Rabadons. This is how you carry with this champion. I've, you've seen me. Score was 6 1. I didn't bother ganking because if you gank as Leah when the score is 6 0, your lanes, which are bot and top, which are insanely behind. 
You won't get anywhere. Look, the guy still in on to Ezreal. You don't gank that lane. You don't gank Yumi Ezreal if they do not know how to play. That's pretty much clear. I am even a bit afraid to gank this. Because she could even kill me. If she dives through this, I might win, but their W will just murder me. So I don't I don't go closer to this. I'm not insane. I know Irelia is an insane champion, even if she would be zero six, I wouldn't fight an Irelia. I would just do my farming my part. I don't I don't steal this guy's stuff. Okay, this is the problem. They, see? She can do that! She can flash ult you if you don't have the reflex to ult. Please back off. But my team wins there, that's that's the good part. You can double you back. The problem is this guy does have some Irelia mechanics. I should have flashed much faster. Please not don't die. Don't die here. And also, why is this tower free? Why is my Mordekaiser not Ah sorry, I have a moment. Now in the context of that, the stopwatch wouldn't help, I suppose. That's great, but Ezreal is in melee range again. And that's massively stupid. Now she has to turn here. So in this case, burst will just work. And that's insanely bad for them, because now Zed is very far ahead. He can freaking carry. He really has now no flash, so basically no way to reach me. And I think Gangplank is very much dead. Unless the guy massively screws up, he flashed out. Could have probably killed him, because he's very tanky with this. Also, this item is actually good if I think about it, because they are full AD, considering that the no-no, well, it's a no-no after all. He doesn't really deal damage, but they could have used a tank no-no, to be honest. Alright. So this is a thing. The only thing that I should be careful about is the Irelia. Okay. And I can go for this. I just shadow. This is called shadowing. Ignore this player completely. Okay, get this. This is free. If Irelia comes, we beat her. Shadowing is perhaps when you stay behind someone which is strong or even weak, and you are strong, and you get the kill onto a champion because they do not expect you to be there. So I'm gonna put the vision word here. I'm gonna need some assistance here, guys. Oh, is that recalled? Oh, that's a problem. No, I'm gonna die here because I didn't get the freaking... Oh, the amount of CC this champion has. Why did that recall there? Oh, right. That makes sense. But he didn't cast ult. Well, you could actually kill them then. Bart has nothing. Just, just focus on that. Okay, ult this guy. But, man, if you ult, do ult attacks. Okay, we're great. We're great. We're absolutely great. Yeah, that went. We we absolutely win this game because, well, first of all, Gangplank goes for a build that has no <laughs> freaking. No man, I have only one blue. Okay, now I guess I get the top side in the farm. Fair trade, I suppose. When you do a full combo, please do not screw your. I should have max salt. No, sorry, I can't. <laughs> I'm drunk. Please be careful to not screw your cannon minion, because most of the time when you do the W combo, it might not go as planned. And so you can see I'm trying to get most of this, but sometimes you, look, I lost this too. Sometimes I lose random CS, and that's bad. I'm not going to give to the Ezreal. This, maybe to the Zed, that would work. Even to the Mordekaiser would work because he's so annoying to to fight and to be around. So now I can just press it like this when I have that room, and it's going to be. Okay, we see another. It's going to tell you how much gold you need to have. So I need 14 gold. We can we can just go here, and I will. Recall, get the rabbit dance. Now I do insane damage. No, don't cast halt. 
No, no, it's bot side. Jesus. The point was to go do it, not break it. Oh. I'm confused. But his spirit is in the right place, I suppose. With him trying this sort of outplay thingy. I'll just push that. You can see the amount of CS I have, and you can see the way I play. I think I can call it. Come on, come on. I realize both sides fighting the freaking Mordekaiser. The only thing that I should be careful is the misfortune, so that I don't get her full ult to my face. But theoretically, we should be fine. Come on, don't run away! Please, don't freaking run away in the most important moment. Because there is a Nuno that might come towards us. I'm starting to be tilted when I see these kind of things. Also, yeah, you can see here, for example. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought these. Actually, sell this. How much? And sell this one as well. This top watch is crucial, so I'm just gonna wait for it because the Irelia wants to burn my face with her full burst. Stop watches are also important in general. Uh, but yeah, we got Baron, we go for the next Drake, we got an insane level advantage. Three levels over the Nono, highest CS in game, as you can see. Mm, not quite because the Irelia has a bit more. But if I do a full clear now, it's going to be okay. Zed is unkillable, by the way. Unless he fails with the Yumi on top, unless he fails something such as his... Oh boy, I need to help the guy. Oh, I broke my own rights. <laughs> uh, I could go to the golems, but to be honest, if she finds me again and flies on my face, I should have bitter reflexes. If it be, if it be in the morning, uh, I could probably flash it. But it's late at night now, and so, no chance. Your reflexes aren't good at all. Uh, especially if you don't sleep a lot. So please be rested when playing League of Legends. You should be very rested. Especially if you focus on the improvement part. If you don't care, if you just play like you hate your life, then just... Better don't play at all. Precisely time it! Oh my god, that flash! Have you seen the flash, man? Can I have it? Thank you. Oh, well, to be honest, I have flash. Get that. Okay. That's a perfect engage, you cannot argue. Gonna flash out. Nono got sucked into the abyss. Misfortune inted. Bard is dead. I did a great engage there because I got both of those. I got both of those into my full combo. And that just panicked them. I really wanted to get a way to regroup. The other guy just instantly got melted. I flashed away from the gangplank. That was a great, that was a great fight. This is how you carry, by the way, with this champion. So if you're in lower elo and you're trying to play against some players that don't know how to scale, your focus is on scaling. I have numerous games, even in Grandmaster, close to challenger games, where I simply won because I didn't bother uh, helping losing lanes early. I walked, walked around my prio, I knew my power spikes, low dance is one, it's the most strong point of the game actually, for you mid game is the strongest, or when you get Trabadons it's another one, if you go straight Trabadons and not other stuff. Uh, so having these two key points will actually put you very far above, this guy is going to take some, yeah you get the rights I get this, Ezreal obviously had, I don't know, Ezreal had the bounty man. That's something very tilting to me, because he gave it away. Now, I cannot kill Gangplank 1 versus 1, even though I'm 3 levels ahead of everyone in the game, well besides, or 4 besides Irelia. 
She's the one in their team actually trying. So we got the stopwatch. I'm going like this. This could have been a game for um, Mejais because I don't see I don't see myself dying a lot. But they would probably focus me. Look at the CS numbers, man. It's beautiful. So this guy got one shot. It. <laughs> We need help there. I could definitely, definitely assist you. Wow! Ah, oh, that's an interesting interaction. Got it with the last cube. <laughs> that was an interesting interaction. Like the, you really old went, but. She got sucked there <laughs> into the abyss. I should be careful to the bard so that I don't get randomly knocked here. I'm gonna miss that. I was sure if you don't focus when you do the cannons, you can screw it up with uh, Ludens like me or with the Q. It's very easy on Talia to miss cannons. You have tools at your disposal, but it's very hard sometimes. I think I got a lot of words. Why was Yumi there alone? Hmm? Okay, I think I solved one of the problems, if they wanted to do Baron. <laughs> uh, okay. Got that. Well, you are 100% dead. Man, that timing! I suck so bad at timing I can go for this push. Ezreal is on board, he is going to get absolutely demolished. By the Irelia, that's not even funny. Or am I gonna get killed? I do have ult. No, she's dead. So I'm going to take my golems. We're going to take a second Baron, so and the game is done. It's a pretty decent <laughs> level 17 game. Holy moly, I'm so ahead. And it's not like I play against Sil versus many people actually doing this type of videos. These are all diamonds. It's actually hilarious how how big the gap can be when you're even 100 LP over them, or 300 or so. Like they had a free win early. They didn't play to their strengths at all. They gave up probably mentally as well at certain points. You realize the only one trying, and she's practically the only one trying strictly because she's power farming, and that keeps her into the game. Because if you would answer her with the Z and the Yumi, then she would do nothing because she would have no lane to actually farm now I do have 2000 gold if I'm getting surprised here by the Irelia it's going to be nasty how many words do they have again? I'm just randomly throwing this because there might be a surprise Irelia somewhere I don't have stopwatch, I do have a lot of gold I shouldn't have smited, I'm an idiot, holy fuck I realized while I was pressing it Okay, that's pretty much a certain situation. <laughs> Did you like that? Flash Q onto that. Oh, I need to help. Oh, she's dead. I did flash Q onto her in an instant. Uh, that was beautiful. Instant, instant uh, blast cone. Oh, there is a Nunu. Can I chase him down? He's gonna cast it. I want that. You cannot, you cannot one shot that, right? Hey, where are you going? Yep, I'm the definition of being a hit right now. Okay, got this. One more. How many words did I clear again? Holy. Well, it's pretty much done. If I do this kind of aggressive plays without Zonia, it's very hard to lose. And you can see the Zed actually did the work that was expected of him, especially if, when he won early. So with that, after that, it was just a matter of time, really. Because the Fed Zed is very hard to counter. Okay. Bart. 
and the game is over. Yep. I wonder why I did not surrender though. Also, I could have gone for ten CS per minute. Could have probably gone for ten CS per minute this game. It's probably sarcastic, but then again. And I gotta throw this. That was the game, 4k gold was on my back. Uh, I hope you understood a bit of the principles of uh, how to not help a lane that loses and how to help your aggressive side. But again, if you are playing against a Rex IZ on mid their team and you have Syndra, do not, or, or you're playing against Urelia Zac and you have, I don't know, some weak mid laner, you do not gank that lane, even if it's a strong mid laner. If it's weak and strong versus weak and strong, then it's fine. If it's something like a Z that can dash on Uno, then it's fine. But you generally shouldn't follow the two versus twos early. You should all actually you should actually try your best to get an advantage over the opponent by farming, by getting ahead when you get some kills into the mid game, or by actually doing ganks in your prior lanes but not two versus twos because when the jungler comes then that's a problem also follow your lanes that have cc so that's the general thing that's things that you have to do that's how you generally play tilia jungle uh, yeah i'm gonna title this video how to play something about the lanes something how to, how to play against winning lanes losing lanes how to get to your power spike that's it how to get to your power spike better what to do to get to your power spike or something along the lines thanks for watching guys and see you next time, have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are.